Okay, so we are going to make a speaker. So here are the things that you need. Um, you definitely need some magnets. These are terrible magnets, but they'll work. Uh, you need some magnet wire or wire with insulation on it. So the rubber coating, not bare. If it's bare wire, it won't work. Uh, you need some type of cup, something to cut with. Um, you might need some fire. You might need an audio cable. You don't definitely need those. So let me show you a speaker first. So here is an actual speaker. Uh, oh, you might need some tape. I got some tape here too. But you don't need you don't need a lot. Okay. So this is a speaker. There's a cone here. There's a coil of wire attached to it down there, and a magnet. So I'm going to turn this on. I, I connected it to this um, function generator just so that we can hear it because they're not super loud, but this one I'll turn on and you could change your frequency. Fun, huh? Okay. Or annoying. That's fine too. So I'm going to take, I'm not going to use this anymore. I'm going to take this off and I'm going to first connect my, oops, there was another magnet. I'm first going to connect this to my, the same source and then I'm going to show you how to connect it to um, a computer or something like that. Okay, so the main idea of this speaker is that when current comes in here and goes through that coil, it makes a magnetic field that interacts with this magnet. And that either pulls this cone down or pushes it up. And that cone pushes air. And it does it really fast, and that makes sound. Okay, so we, well, all we need is a coil of wire and a magnet. That's all we need. So the coil of wire will start with this. So this is magnet wire. Um, it's used to make electromagnets and motors and it has a, an enamel coating on it so that when I wrap it around something, it, it forces the current to go in a loop and that is important. So the more turns I get on this, the better. Okay, so I probably will get bored, but let's just stick this here so it won't roll off, get off a section of it, and now comes the fun part. I just need to roll this up. So I have my cup here, and in fact, you might wanna take a little piece of tape uh, another thing, so we're building stuff, and you may say, hey, I don't have that silver duct tape, okay? It doesn't matter. And I know you don't know what matters and what doesn't, so the key thing is just to try it. If it doesn't work, then maybe that component mattered. You don't have to have a clear cup, okay? You could try it with different things. So I'm going to take a bit of wire hanging off so I can connect it, and I'm going to use that little edge right there, and I'm going to tape this on. Now I can start uh, twisting it up, and hopefully it'll stay on. Let's just see if I can do this. Yeah. Ah, uh, see, that's what happens. Okay. I'm going to go a little bit lower. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you can add tape every once in a while, so that won't happen. Let me get a few more turns, and I'll put another piece of tape on there. Ah, uh, okay, let's do that. I get my tape ready for when I get it. Coil in the same direction each time. Okay, I'm gonna tape this. Ah. And I want, I want more. There, it's going on good now. Once you get that little wire at the top, it's easier to add wire to the bottom. So it doesn't fall off. If you have a, a cup that has no slope to the walls, it makes it a little bit easier too. That's probably enough wire, but let's put a little bit more. Okay. I think it's going to work. It may not be the best, but it'll work. And I have another piece of tape here. I'm just going to tape this down. Right, because I don't want it to come off. So there. Now I need to cut it. So I'm going to take my uh, MacGyver Swiss Army knife. You can use anything, really. The scissors here work really well. Let's see where the scissors are there. Okay. So now I have the coil of wire. Uh, and I, all I need to do is attach a magnet. But the problem is that these wires, I cannot connect other wires to them because there's an enamel coating on there and it prevents a connection. So you can do one of two, 
there's three things. You can just shave it off with a knife, which is kind of tedious. Uh, you can shave it off with sandpaper. Uh, I like to take fire. And it just kind of burns it off. Not too much because you don't want to burn the, the wire because it won't make it insulate. You'll mess it up too there. See? Now you can see the copper. You can't see that. You can see the copper ends. So now I can connect it. So now I'm going to go ahead and connect this. Actually, the next thing is the magnet. You can tape a magnet on here. Uh, I find it works better if I put and easier if I put a magnet there and put a magnet here. And then they kind of hold themselves together. Okay. So now we need to connect it. I don't know this is going to work. I've, every time, you know, you got to check these things. It may or may not work. Okay, let's turn on the function generator. Okay, it is working. I'm gonna, I don't know if you can hear it. Where's the speaker? But it is working. Let's try this. I'm gonna leave that on. Let's try replacing the magnets. I'm gonna take these crappy magnets these, these are the, the Hobby Lobby's version magnets. You just get these anywhere. These are cheap. These are nicer. These are uh, neodymium magnets. I got these in a set of magnets, so they're, they're nice and strong. Uh, and they're light. I'll put one in there. In the middle. There. There you go. Okay. It's still not very loud. You probably can't hear that. Okay, let's try again. I do have a big magnet. It sounds a little bit better actually with just with just one. You can just hold one. Nah, it doesn't. Okay, what about this? Here's a really nice big neodymium magnet. I got this for eleven dollars. It's really not too expensive. Okay, you might be able to hear that. You like that? Okay, so that one does actually work a little bit better. I could try putting a magnet inside. That's, I mean, I can hear that. Okay, so that does indeed work. Uh, so this is very simple, a magnet, a coil of wire, and a cup. And you can try more turns, bigger cup. Definitely the more current you have going, going through this, the better. Okay, now you want to connect this to your phone, probably. So let's do that. So here I have uh, an old earphone jack. This is actually for a speaker, but. So this has, I already cut it. This one is actually split into two wires, one for the left earphone and one for the right. So I can just pull that off and I need to get the rubber off. If I do that, I just slice this like that. Let's pull it off. Should come off. Oops, oh, sorry. Are you okay? Okay. Get that off. And then we have actually have two wires in here. So there's that outer wire. And there's an inner wire. So I need to separate those. And then I need to strip this wire. This one's really thin, so be careful. There. That's it. Now I connect my two wires. You can just twist these on if you want. It should work. Now this, if you plug this into something that uses an earphone jack, it's going to be not very loud. So you want to put it right up to your ear. But it, you can hear it, and it is fun. Okay. All set. So now you just plug that in, and you built a speaker. Now, one last thing. If you plug this into an audio port and then you talk into it, you can also record. Try that.